In my freshman year of high school, I decided that I wanted to try to become a leader of my high school marching band. As a part of the process, I had to take a leadership class in order to apply. In this class, I was introduced to the idea of servant leadership. Servant leadership is the idea that the primary role of a leader is to serve those in the group who they lead. After about a year of following this leadership model, I saw that it ended up making my experience and the experience of my peers better as it fostered a community of hard workers who truly appreciated each other. In my time in high school, I have been a part of many different groups, clubs, and organizations. I have also had the opportunity to be both a member and a leader of these groups, consequently being on both sides of the leadership relationship. Through these experiences, I have decided that servant leadership is the ideal philosophy of leadership for both the leader and those who they lead. The reasons that servant leadership is ideal can be explained well by taking the philosophy through the Rotary Club's four-way test. I would like to begin with the question of whether servant leadership is fair to all individuals who are impacted by the philosophy. I'd first like to clarify my definition of fairness before I provide evidence as to why I believe that servant leadership is ideal. I personally do not believe that fair is always equal. We are all different and sometimes we need different things to help us flourish. These differences may account for differences in the amount of work one does with respect to another or it may account for differences in how much help we receive. Although these discrepancies do exist, they do not necessarily make a relationship unfair. In order to be fair, a relationship must be equitable to both parties, and both parties must receive what they need to flourish. I believe that servant leadership provides the conditions for both the leader and those who they lead to flourish. For the leader, it provides a challenging environment where they are encouraged to push themselves and grow, which is oftentimes what a person in that position needs. At the same time, the focus on helping their peers supports the people who are being led as they can receive personalized help. This is considerably more effective than other leadership styles where support is less of a focus and there is a reduction in efforts to build a community. Most people need a community to lean on in order to work well. Secondly, I would like to address the question of whether or not servant leadership is beneficial to all. Along with making servant leadership fair to all, the equity created by the implementation of the philosophy also makes it beneficial to all. Everyone in this relationship learns something about themselves and teaches others. Everyone in the servant leadership style, from the highest person to the lowest person on the totem pole, is expected to provide for others and to be a part of the team which mutually benefits everyone involved. Through my time as both a leader and being led, I have particularly grown in my abilities when under this leadership style. The whole idea is that if everyone is selfless and serves the group, they'll end up benefiting them more. Thirdly, servant leadership builds goodwill and better friendships. It brings people together for a common cause and allows people to go through things together. Some of my best friends have been made through this relationship and because of the mutual respect it fosters between people. I have tried to implement this idea in every group I'm a part of, whether I'm the leader or not, and I personally believe that has strengthened my relationships with the people that I work with. Hopefully at this point, I have convinced you that servant leadership is a good philosophy. And as I completed the four by test, I struggled with the last question, is it the truth? I believe that this truly works, and I believe that I am living proof. Servant leadership has made me a better person, a better leader, and a better follower. It has brought me closer to the people who I care about most, and it has helped me and my friends to achieve success. Servant leadership has led the marching band at my school to success. It has not only made us achieve on a higher level, but it has increased the happiness of our group. In similar clubs and spaces, in which similar philosophies are implemented, I have also noticed the same feeling, a feeling of inclusion and support like no other. Though the idea of servant leadership was not necessarily based, designed based on the Rotary test, it is clear that a true leader and a true group member must follow these principles in order to be successful. By keeping friendship, support, truth, 
and fairness in mind, it is hard not to build a resilient community of hard workers. Thank you.